Hello everyone, this is Annie Pyro bringing you some new videos on the latest features of Finale Fireworks. In this video I want to cover the new additions that address a new workflow um, in Finale. And by workflow, the improvements that have been added to give Finale more smarts or more knowledge about your firing system that you're going to be using. In the past, you've had to manually add those firing system modules to each launch position, and the finale wasn't very smart, or in other words, they didn't remember it from one show to the next. Not anymore. Um, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of new features built in here. They're um, very rich, and um, there's a lot to go over. But I'm just going to glance and and hit the highlights of them. But I want to let you know that you can go in here from a system perspective. Let's go up to the file menu underneath user preferences and in the firing system. And now you can actually set a firing system of your choice. And you can also customize that firing system specifics to how you like to shoot it. And once you do, every new show that you create, Finale will remember that's the firing system that you used last and will automatically address your your modules and your effects in that order. So let's take a look at the firing systems. Let's just pick one down here. Let's go to Starfire. Now that I've selected Starfire, Finale is going to say, hey, user preferences have been updated. The new preference will apply to all new shows create, but it doesn't affect this one. So you just hit continue. So now fire, uh, Finale will know from now on that you like Starfires. You can go up to the show menu and you go to set firing system. This is for the current show. So if I want to make sure that this show gets its new firing system, I'm going to go ahead and set it here. And now Finale is reminding me to go ahead and do customize to set specific settings about like E matches, the number of pins, or any restrictions you wish to put on your modules. So with that information, is on the show set firing system and right here on the customize so now I can say okay I like to use you know say the star firing uh, system and I like to name my modules uh, in this manner star and then you can say what the first module number is what your first pin address is the number of pins on each module the maximum number of E matches you wish to fire on any given pin. So let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna say hey I want to shoot at least 10 per pin if I'm shooting a bunch of things in series or whatnot. And you can put any caliber filters on your modules if you want. Now this would be if you want to say okay each module that you put into the show you want it to be restricted to a single caliber size. So if you're putting a launch position and you've got three calibers in that launch position, if you wanted to make sure that each caliber got its own module, you would select this single caliber per module option. This will, um, now remember, if you do that, you're going to use up more equipment because the Finale is going to add a new module per every caliber in a launch position. So if you want to, no wasted pins, you use any size. And you can also put filters on, on your modules by angle if you wanted to keep things firing all to, you know, any angled shots go on one module and um, straight ups go on another. But that is a feature. So this is where we set those options. So I'm going to go ahead and set set. And now Finale knows what my preferences is for the, finale, uh, for the firing systems. And it'll remember it. This is a big improvement so that you don't have to manually go in there. Another thing we need to cover about the workflow is the addressing algorithm. In the past, when uh, Finale assigned pins, he was doing it basically um, in chronological order. Um, not a lot of smarts to it, and it, and it also uh, prevented things like uh, multiple calib calibers being on the same um, pin and on the same racks. Well, all that has changed. Now you have complete control over how those algorithms and how you're going to get those pins assigned. And Finale is much more intelligent right out of the box uh, from now on. So if we take a look, here is the result. When I changed all my preferences to star, 
those now start to appear here and it's now following the, the Starfire's um, parameters in addressing. So when we go to add pins, if I add the racks, you'll see here um, the racking and the pin assignments. Uh, we'll go over that in another video, but all this has been improved. The other thing I want to point out I talked about was the algorithm. So let's take a look at this algorithm. What we mean by the addressing algorithm is how those pins are going to get assigned in a launch position. Right now, this is showing that it's it's going to get assigned by caliber, angle, um, ID, and name. And this is just kind of basics for computer firing. Um, the other method that can be set is chronologically. Uh, sequential module numbers. This is kind of for manual firing where you would want, um, you don't want to jump around on modules. You want to stick and, and keep going in order as things went into there. Um, the other would be chronologically um, computer fire. Um, this will be more tailored towards automated firing, but also keep it based on how the items are being fired in your show. So in other words, they get assigned pins based on their launch times um, as opposed to uh, their caliber primarily first. So those are some big uh, changes um, and big improvements.